the approximate output frequency of triple five oscillator for R A equal to R B equal to two point two kilo ohms and C equal to two thousand picofarad is asked. This question is quite simple and straightforward formula based question. But let us see the concepts behind this. It is given that it is a triple five oscillator, and also it is given the information of R A R B and C. Whenever triple five timer and R A R B and C information is given, it is understood that it will act as a stable multi vibrator. So the internal uh, the connection of triple five I C with the different resistors and capacitors is shown here, so that it will act as a stable multi vibrator. Whenever the V C C and discharge between this V C C and discharge, if you connect R one resistance or R A resistance, and between this discharge and threshold. If you connect other resistance called R B or R two, and also if we connect a capacitor between the trigger and ground, then this type of connection of triple five timer will act as a stable multi vibrator. So, whenever triple five timer acting as a multi uh, a stable multi vibrator, we can calculate its frequency of oscillation as follows: F is nothing but one by T, T is nothing but time period of oscillation. So time period of oscillation of triple five timer when it is acting as a stable multi vibrator is given by zero point six nine three into R A plus two times R B into C. So on substituting the given information zero point six nine three into R A is two point two plus two times two point two multiplied with capacitor. Capacitor is two thousand picofarad. So on simplifying this we are going to get nine point one four seven. Into ten power minus six seconds. So time period of oscillation of the timer is known now. So let us compute its frequency of oscillation. F is nothing but one by t, which is nothing but one by nine point one four seven into ten power minus six. This yields to on calculation one zero nine one out nine point three kilohertz. So the right choice is option B. But this for uh, this concept, triple five timer concept, can be extended as follows so that it would be helpful for upcoming exams or any competitive exams, maybe in ISRO coming year exam. So triple five timer general concepts frequently asked questions. So let us see the extension of this triple five timer extension. So from triple five timer, two types of questions are quite common. One is from mono stable multi vibrator, other is from a stable multi vibrator. Whenever a question is asked from mono stable multi vibrator, he'll give information of R and C. Here, the information of R A, R B, and C is given. So three elements will be present in a stable. So R A, R B, and R C two different resistors. Here, one single resistor and one capacitor. So From mono stable multi vibrator, the time period of oscillation will be asked generally, which is nothing but which is given by T equal to one point one R C, one point one R C. So it is easy to memorize, and we have just seen the stable multi vibrator time period of oscillation, but let us see in a different way. It can be splitted into time for charging and time for discharging. Time for charging is given by Zero point six nine three into R A plus R B into C. This is time for charging, and time for discharging is zero point six nine three into R B into C. If you add both time for charging and time for discharging, you will get total time. So the total time for operation of triple five timer as a stable multi vibrator is zero point six nine three into R A plus two times R B. Just now we have seen into C. So the important formulas are time for charge, time for charging, time for discharging, and total time. So this is one formula. This is another formula. From this we can get this and this. Thank you.